Rails is a rapid response to acute illness learning set and really it's about reducing harm and improving patient care. It would be the use of SBAR, handover, where that's being done in a formatted way, situation, background, assessment and recommendation. The SBAR tool has allowed especially the more junior staff um, to have a bit of clarity when they're trying to inform others, whether it's the medical staff or as their nursing colleagues, about um, issues that they have a problem with a patient. Personally, I was quite cynical about the whole idea of SBAR. I didn't think it was going to go down particularly well. I didn't think it would be very well received. Uh, but I'm really pleased to say that it's absolutely the opposite it, it is true. People think it's absolutely fantastic. These tools have certainly changed um, the focus on patient care. What we've done locally is introduce a little small sort of memo telephone pad with SPAR written on it. So anyone conveying a message about a sick patient writes it out beforehand using the SPAR format, picks up the phone, makes the telephone call and then virtually reads off a script about what's going on with that patient. And it just gives them a bit of clarity when they're trying to impart information over. We can be very precise and very clear about what we feel is wrong and that we feel that action needs to be taken. Sometimes communication, especially in a stressful situation, can be limited. Um, and the more we've used it, the more we've realised that it is a very useful tool. The nurses who have used it felt very comfortable with it because it does empower them, especially junior nurses who may be not as confident to approach uh, the medical teams. Our aim is when a, a patient triggers a certain condition, whether it's becoming unwell or whether they need uh, a review, is that it's always done in the same way. It actually does work about stopping patients becoming more unwell than they need to be. It's empowering for nursing staff um, and we can prevent people dying.